Good morning, everybody. Dewey and I are happy to welcome you to another Milestone Moment video. This is our last week. If you've missed any of the others, you can go back and catch up. And hello. We'll sing our hello song. Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? How are you today? Let's take one of those big, deep breaths. And let's talk about how we're feeling today. Are you feeling cool? Are you feeling angry? Are you feeling happy? Are you feeling silly? Are you feeling something that's not on our board? I'm feel I guess I'm feeling a little sad today. It's our last video. We have a lot of fun stuff coming up in summer, but you know, it's kind of nice to have these fun video moments. We are talking today about sight words. So, sight words are used for beginning readers. They are the words and phrases most frequently used by people learning how to read, which is great. So, some of them are the, of, and, a, uh, to, in, you, it, is, he, she, and they. And those are just a, a few of them. There's over a hundred sight words that are great to get kids starting to read. And we have lots of stuff at the library to help with that. <laughs> Surprise! So we have this new collection. It's called, well, it's not that new, but it's a little bit new. Um, it's called the Early Reader Collection, and it talks a little bit about introducing readers to books. We know that you've been reading the picture books and word books all the way through, which is great. It's a little bit different when your child starts reading. Um, those books are really kind of wordy. Um, so we have different books that help them learn how to read. And a lot of them talk about sight words, which is good. Um, so this also talks about our system. So we have books that are labeled, and the labels in our books go up through A through O. Um, a is the easiest and O is the hardest. Um, and then, so a little bit about those labels. Every, there's lots of different ways to label books. So we use guided reading, um, but there's other ones, there's Lexile, there's Accelerated Reader, and everybody does things different. And we just kind of picked this one and that's what everything is labeled for. So it talks a little bit about those labels um, and then how to help your reader. Because learning how to read is hard and it's frustrating. And we talked a little bit last week about how when you're tying your shoes, you have to practice, practice, practice. And it's just like this. You know, when you're reading, you have to practice, practice, practice. When you're shooting baskets, you have to practice, practice, practice. Everything you have to practice for. Which is fun and frustrating and sometimes oh, makes you so mad. And I get that. That makes perfect sense. So Dewey and I have some books to share with you about some of those things that we have. So we have a couple that are phonic based. And they do have phonics on the labels. And if you have questions about any of these types of books, please come and ask us because that's what we're here for. We like talking about books. We like talking about making kids readers, making everybody readers. Being a reader is great and that's what we love. So um, we have a couple that are just for the sounds of the letters. So this is Hats Can Help, the sound of H. And we have another series that's called Soundbox. So this is my D Soundbox. So everything with D. We've got another series that's Anna and the letter A. She's eating an apple. Um, and we've got some different Bob books that have some CDs that are also for beginning readers. And so Bob books are a big favorite here at the library. We have a lot of these little books. Um, and they are little, but um, they're also really great. Let me just find some of the Bob books. So some of them, these are some of the Bob books, so tiny. And they're paperback, so they're very thin. But some of them will say what they are. So ER is our code for early reader. And then it's Bob Books. And then this one is from the Advancing Beginners. So as your child is moving through the steps, we have books to support those. This one is Pre-Reading Skills. This one is Sight Words. Let's take a look about this one. So this one is called The Old Truck. And it tells you the sight words that we're looking for today is make, new, and old. And it does give you a parent tip. So I'm just going to read the first page. 
an old truck sat in the sand. And they're really great because the pictures do correspond with what your, your child is trying to read. So it's helpful because you can kind of decode parts of it and then you can kind of move your finger along that and read the books. There is Bob books for rhyming words. We've got animal stories for Bob books. And then we kind of break into, oh, nope, sorry, hang on one more second. We've got some different phonics books. Um, and there's, these are sets that we have too. So we have Pete the Cat phonics. We have um, a Step Into Reading Comics, which has Blaze, who is a monster truck. And then we have a Pink Pinkalicious. So these are all kind of sitting on top of our early reader collections, and they're just in bins there. And then we have the first little readers. And you can see here's our A, there is our B, there is our C. So for the bigger books, we'll have those on the label. Um, this is the phonics, so it doesn't have that, but the, er the bigger books will have them right there on the label, and then the little ones have them on the side here so you can see them without looking for them too hard. And then we've got um, some dance starter collections, so this one is C and B and A, and we're just going to take a look. So the A's, again, it gives you a nice glossary of pictures. I went to the wildlife park and I saw a giraffe. So that's what an A is. Here's what a B is. This is little and big. A stamp is little, a newspaper is big. A mouse is little, a hippopotamus is big. Hippopotamus is a big word, but you'll have them right here so it's easier to decode. The C's. This is from the zookeeper. Zookeepers take care of animals in the zoos. Zookeepers take care of big animals and baby animals. So they're using a lot of this and repeating it here, but adding a little bit more. So you've got big animals, you've got baby animals. So these are a little bit of the steps for reading. So we have all of these. We also have some flashcards that you can have. So these are some sight words. This is for grade one. We have them in different grades because different grades have different ones. So this is woman, we've got world, they're on the back too, so they've got letter, and map, and night. So again, this is a first grade set, so you've already started reading. So you've mastered all these and you're moving along. We have a bunch of these that you can check out, and they're in kind of old VHS cases just because it's easy to close and easy to see what those are. We have um, a book -it kit called Early Reader, so you've got a lot of different flashcards in there, sight words, you've got meet the sight words. Um, we have other ones, this is a matching game that you can check out, where you could match like the frog with the, la the word frog, and the cat with the cat, and the train with the train, and the ball with a ball. So we have a lot of these things that you can check out at the library and we are here and happy to help you because beginning reading, as I say, is really, really fun and exciting, but it also could be a frustrating time. Um, our activity for the week is this fun coloring sheet. So it's coloring by sight words. So you're going to use orange and you're going to color for big and yellow for a different and then you'll see what pops out. So you can pick this up anytime at the library. And Dewey and I are going to say goodbye. Hands go up, hands go down. I can turn around and round. I can jump onto shoes. I can clap and so can you. We will see you all hopefully over the summer.